It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. Hello and welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment. I'm your host, Lori Rosales. Our next guest became an international music sensation with the 1992 release of their first hit single, End of the Road, topping the charts as number one on Billboard's Hot 100 list for 13 weeks, only to later break that record with their singles One Sweet Day and I'll Make Love to You, topping the charts at number one for 16 weeks. I'd like to welcome Grammy Award winning music artists Nathan and Wanye Morris of Boys to Men. Hi Nathan, hi Wanye. How you doing? <laughs> How are you guys? Good, good, good. Wow, so I gotta tell you, you guys, your earlier music brings back some great memories of mine. Every school dance, <laughs> Good stuff. every awesome. every slow jam mixtape. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we got a lot of those. <laughs> and you know, your your music continues to be one of the biggest names in R and B ever since your first single. Uh, your 1992 single, uh, End of the Road. Yeah. You know, what does it feel like playing such a huge part in music history? I mean, um, <clears throat> as uh, we started, you know, all we really wanted to do was sing. So um, to have gotten this far uh, 25 years later, um, doing something that you love to do, um, it's, 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 it's an incredible feat. Uh, music is is the driving force. You know, we 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 love music. Uh, we were blessed to have uh, great songs and songs that people remember. So, I mean, it really uh, it really, you know, doesn't hit us like you know people say legendary, legendary. You know, but uh, all we we know this music is is what uh, people love, and as long as they love music, they'll love Boys to Men. So to be a part of that, you know, in history is is a great feat. Do you know when you hear some of your earlier music on the radio? Do you um do you ever sing along? I mean, what's your reaction? <laughs> <laughs> what's your reaction to that? Oh, you sing along? I mean, <laughs> no, I don't sing along. Uh, so a lot of times, it just reminds us of uh, what we've done. I mean, we've done so much in the last twenty-five years that you know, from day to day, we're always doing something different. So we'll hear a song and. We'll hear something that we haven't heard in a long time. So, oh, I forgot I did that, or I forgot it sound like that, or whatever. But might add know, live a little yeah, bit. Might hum, <laughs> hum, 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 hum a little bit underneath of it, but that's about it. Well, you know, you guys been you you've been so successful. I mean, is there are there any highlights in your career? Any memories that you often look back on that that kind of stand out to you? Well, this one is actually a, a highlight for us. This uh, this project that we've done with our Amazon Prime. Uh, this. Uh, creation that we've never been a part of as far as uh, animation is concerned, uh, The Snowy Day. Uh, we were actually put in here as a cappella singers, uh, something that we do all the time, but uh, we have never been put in a, you know, cartoonish-like uh, situation. And it, we looked at it and we were kind of, didn't know at first how we were going to fare, but um, it actually went very well. I mean, they, they got <laughs> pretty close on the imagery, kind of. And the vocals, everything. It's just, it's just really cool. And I, I think one of the really most special things is to have your kids watch it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have yeah. your kids watch your parents in the cartoon. But it's a really, it's a really good thing. And it's something that we've, we never really done before. So it's pretty special for us. Yeah. Well, you know, when I first heard about it, I. I mean, your your um, your version of "Let It Snow" had had quickly become a holiday classic, and it seems only fitting that you guys would be in you know in a holiday car in a holiday animation. So I was really excited to hear about it. Um, how were you first approached uh, in regards to the project? Well, um, I'm a cartoon head, so all they had to do was say that I was going to be a cartoon. And I was like, yeah, let's do it, you know? I always wanted to see myself <laughs> illustrated as a cartoon. So um, 
they like Nate said, they uh, it, it, they did pretty good. Um, kind of looks like us, right? I would say that. Yeah, I would say it looks pretty, um, pretty good. And the song is beautiful. The the story is is a beautiful uh, story. It's almost just like you know, it it brings that that holiday spirit all together. And you know, I think that all the kids out there are gonna love it. Would you say Christmas is your favorite holiday? Um, well, there's a well, just the the holiday time per se. I mean, you know. A lot of different holidays going on, whether it be, you know, Hanukkah, you know, Christmas or whatever. It's just the spirit of that time when, you know, mm -hmm. people want to be together and, you know, families get close and you kind of go for miles across the world and across the country just for those those times. And that's really what the most special thing is when it comes to uh, the, that, that time of the year. Now, as as far as the music goes that, that went into this animation, mm -hmm. um, did... Did you take some of your, um, maybe like some of the music that you've done in the past as far as uh, holiday music goes, did that kind of inspire the what, the feeling of the movie and well, the music that you, you created for it? Well, we tried to keep the melodies really simple. Uh, mm -hmm. We, you know, obviously we've, like Juan said, we've seen a lot of animation stuff and we've read a lot of books as kids and, you know, we, we try to keep the, and we know that there are certain songs that become <laughs> the theme of uh, certain animation and people want to sing along with them. And the fact that we've always had sing-along songs throughout our career kind of, I guess, kind of prepared us to create something that was, you know, sing-along-ish, I guess. Yeah, talk about sing-along songs. You know, I can never hit your high notes, ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I can't either, yeah. so I get it. And sometimes high notes are meant to be felt, not sang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, my friends keep telling me that, but <laughs> hey, I, yeah, I just, I can't help it, you know, when you get in the feeling, you know, when you all get right, in the, right. the, <laughs> the go. emotion let in it. it. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, when you first, as far as the project goes, what what is it about the snowy day that, that really kind of, that makes it a little bit more, more personal and different to you compared to other projects um, that you've worked on? I think that, uh, just the fact that, uh, like Nate says, uh, it's one of the um, only books uh, in his school and um, in the library that I remember as well, um, seeing a black kid on the uh, on the cover. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it that that really like you know it draws uh, I guess the uh, familiarity, the similarity. It it draws you to it, and um, just the story itself is um, everybody ha everybody's had a snowy day. Everybody's had those times where they just go outside and just you know so you look out the window and it's snowing and the ground is white and you just go out and you want to make snow angels and you know play with your friends and you know it's just it's just one of those stories that you know I think people will get into oh my goodness well you know what thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today uh, thank you for having us for more full-length celebrity interviews visit sidewalkstv.com